Okay, this is the start of my aquaponics video. I'm starting up an indoor aquaponics system in my house, and uh, a few of the parts came in, so I thought I'd go through what arrived. And uh, as I start assembling it, I'll take some more videos and edit it up. And uh, so let's get started. Um, I sort of took the cheesy route, which is uh, I bought some pre made equipment here from an online store. Uh, but I'll be building some of the other stuff myself, so I'll give you a little tour. Okay, so here's some of the pieces I bought. It's a 60-gallon fish tank from the aquaponicsstore.com uh, with a lid on it. And it also comes with some plumbing pieces that you put together. It's PVC, so I'll have to assemble it properly later, but just fitting it in. Uh, it's basically an aeration bar, little holes drilled in it, so when the water flows through the system, it can spray water into the tank and aerate the fish water. And cover that up. And then the other part is the grow bed. And I also got this from the same place, obviously. Um, it's a 175 liter grow bed, uh, media guard to keep the, the grow medium out of the plumbing. And then come a little closer. And right down there, a couple holes pre drilled for some of the plumbing. And then various fittings come with it. And just a few things like uh, uh, what do they call these? Oh dear, bulkhead fittings, that's it. And then a, a standpipe. And so all this still has to go together. And I uh, have to build a stand, get a light, uh, do the, the plumbing, put in a pump, heater, uh, grow medium, and so on. But uh, more later as that arrives. Just a quick update on some more stuff that arrived here. Um, got uh, got a parts here for a bell siphon, uh, which we're going to add. Have to drill a third hole there in the bed for that. And also received a 400 gallon per hour submersible pump. So more things arrived, and the project for today is uh, got a bunch of lumber out there and uh, going to build a, a stand for the grow bed um, out of 4x4s and 2x4s, probably a little overkill, but uh, don't want the grow bed falling over on our back porch, so um, more as it comes. There, well, uh, I've now built a pretty heavy duty, probably too heavy duty, <laughs> stand out of 2x4s and 4x4s to uh, hold the grow bed uh, above the fish tank. The tank will slide out in between uh, the legs of the table in that direction. And uh, what I have left to do now is I need to core drill uh, through the grow bed there so that I can fit the bell siphon uh, bulkhead fitting through the floor of the bed there. So that comes next. Alright, so uh, got the um, all the plumbing hooked up pretty much here. Got the uh, hole drilled for the siphon. So now there's a standpipe for a drain, uh, just in case. Uh, over there is the input into the grow bed from the pump, and there in the middle is the auto siphon, which I have to put this big cover over. And uh, so we're all set there with that, and all the plumbing underneath is hooked up now as well. And I'm in the middle of filling it with water, so um, getting close. Uh, didn't do anything with the uh, aeration bar yet, so I'll have to hook the pump up through that uh, and then up to the grow bed. But I uh, want to test out all the, the plumbing and the auto siphon. 
So, been uh, pumping for a while, uh, filled up the fish tank, and now I'm running the pump. So, pumping from the fish tank up into the grow bed here, and uh, waiting for the auto siphon to fire, if it does. Not sure. So, we'll see. And there we go. The auto siphon is firing. So the thing is just dumping the water now. We got a little, little leak on the plant there. No big deal. So the siphon in there is dumping the water in the grow bed rapidly. And it went off at just about the right level. So I think we're set here. Okay, so on uh, my last video clip I had the, uh, the siphon running, um, but as it turned out it actually just kept running and never uh, actually reset. Um, that's because there was the, the pump in the fish tank was hooked up directly um, to the inlet in here and uh, it was running too much water in there too rapidly and so the siphon couldn't reset. So, um, since I've now finished the plumbing, what I did is actually uh, take the pump output and run it through this T here to the uh, aeration for the fish tank and then run it up to the uh, grow bed and that has reduced the volume and pressure in the grow bed so the siphon now works uh, by itself. And uh, when I run the pump now, I get uh, aeration from here and the water runs up into here and the, it, you know, the grow bed fills and, and the siphon drains and resets like it should now. So I think I'm all set. Um, all I have to do now is get the light fixture um, put and hanging over the grow bed and, and uh, also uh, Outside I have four giant sacks of hydroton, which I have to rinse off and get into the grow bed here. And then over here I have uh, my water test kit and pH modifiers and so on. Um, so once I get all, all that other stuff done, I can uh, start introducing ammonia into the system and, uh, and measuring pH and all that and getting it ready for plants and then eventually fish. So, uh, got some more work to do here. Oh, I'm uh, outdoors now um, washing off the hydroton. So I bought uh, four 50 liter bags of the stuff and uh, found an old uh, window screen that I hadn't used for the house and so I lay it out on the screen and rinse it off and then scoop it into a bucket and uh, do that over and over and over and over again. <laughs> so, I got uh, pretty much everything all set now. Bought a light fixture, a uh, six uh, bulb T5 light fixture. Uh, rinsed off all the hydroton and filled up the grow bed. And got the, uh, got the pump running. And I'm all set now to uh, start uh, start my seedlings and uh, start cycling the uh, the system, adding ammonia and measuring uh, uh, pH and all that. So that comes next. But uh, this is the end of the first part, the initial system setup. <laughs>